Hey guys, I'm here with a haul video. So Saturday I went thrifting all day. I went to three different Goodwills. So I thought I'll show you guys everything that I got before I go ahead and get it listed. So let's just jump right into it. First pair of shoes, these are actually for myself because I love Vans. So I picked myself up some floral printed Vans for the spring. And then I got these coach shoes. They're really cute. They have like the little peep toe and they're in like excellent condition. Like there's no flaws. So all this stuff that I got is mostly going to be going up on Poshmark. All right. The next two pairs of shoes. These have some wear on them, but I think they're so cute that I couldn't leave them. They're J. Crew and they're like little loafers and they're like calf hair and they're leopard print. They do have like some wear in the front, but I think I can still get a good buck for them. And then these were my favorite. I found a pair of Tory Burch flats and yeah, so cute. They do have like a little bit of wear on them, but not, not anything that's going to prevent them from selling. Like you can see like whoever wore them, like it's like filed down at the end of the heel, but that's no biggie. All right. I uh, knotted these bags, so. Okay, first bag, so I have two huge bags. Um, so I spent a total of $300 on everything, which is kind of expensive, but that's usually how it goes when I go sourcing at regular Goodwill. So the first thing is this brand called Tempo Paris. That's what the tag looks like. But I looked up like how much they go for. They're pretty expensive and I thought it was really cute with like the embroidery and it's silk. The next is one of my favorite finds because it's new with tags and it's Sundance, which I talk about this brand a lot. I love selling this brand, but yeah, so it's new with tags and it's 100% silk, like floral dress. And then let me show you what the bottom looks like. Get it. So it has like these little like ruffles all over the place. I think that's really pretty. Definitely gonna have to try and find like a stock photo of this because longer dresses are like super hard to photograph for me. Gotta do the whole mannequin setup and long and then Poshmark has to be squared photos, so I hate that. These I might be keeping for myself. I think they're so cute. They're these little like yoga shorts and they're actually anthropology uh, pure good. So I have to try these on, they're so cute. The next thing I got is this Nike Golf and it's brand new with tags. So it was originally $120. It looks like it was selling at Ross though. And then I got it and they didn't mark it up. So that's pretty cool. It's like this little top. I thought this was pretty. I usually don't sell this brand. It's a uh, Ella Moss. And I think this is her old tag. Pretty sure this is her old tag. But how cute is this? It's like a mock neck. And it's like the shirt dress style. And it has like these little like floral prints on them. I don't know. I think it's really cute. And then I picked up this Lucky brand. So cute. Sorry guys, I like love, I seriously love everything that I got this thrifting trip. Like I'm in love with it. And I love when I have like those types of hauls. So Lucky brand, and it's like a kimono like cardigan. And then the bottom has like the little fringe. So it's really cute for spring. And I love selling these Madewell like basics it's just a basic 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 long sleeve shirt um i picked this up because of the size but diane von verstenberg does not sell good for me but that's her newer tag and it's 100 percent silk it's really cute it's a size 14 which is why i picked it up but 
I have a lot of Diane. Diane just tends to sit for me. Alright, I'm excited about this one because it's new Cabbie. Cabbie. I freaking love Cabbie. So, yeah. Cardigan sweater. Some uh, Joe's jeans. I love selling jeans. Some people hate selling jeans. I love selling jeans. They sell so good for me. So, just some Joe's jeans. They are skinny because you guys already know. I love me some skinny jeans. Basically, the only jeans I pick up are skinny. Unless they're newer style. Then I'll pick up flared. Or if they're mid-rise and high-waisted. Like, high-waisted and mid-rise flared jeans do super good. Alright. Got some more jeans coming. Uh, I picked up these page jeans. Like, kind of wrinkled. They need to get washed. Like, skinny... Yeah, they need some wash. You know when jeans get like, I don't know, like out of shape? They need a good wash. And then these, I don't know. I didn't even look comps up on this, but it's American Glamour um, Badgley Mishka. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's what the tag looks like. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about these. They look vintage. So that's what the back looks like. And they're like straight leg. They're not skinny. They're straight leg. So I have no idea how good these are going to do, but I picked them up, so we'll see. Uh, okay. I'm trying to grab like a couple pieces at a time here. Ooh, this is exciting. Uh, Elizabeth and James. It's like a silk button-down shirt. This brand's like a hit or miss for me. It's Pixley. Here. There you go. Uh, Pixley is like a Stitch Fix brand. But I thought this was cute with like the little fringe going on at the bottom. This is one of my top finds because... What are these called? The, the Sarah Cardigan from LuLaRoe. And it's green... And it's ribbed, and this thing's like brand new. So I think this will do very, very well. Alright, let me just like dump the rest of this stuff on my lap. Here we go. Alright, what do we got here? Ah, J brand. Another good brand of jeans. And I think these are straight leg. Let me look and see what is this. Oh, they're mid. Mid Midori Paradise? I don't know what that means. Usually it'll say like Stockholm pencil leg, which is like straight leg, but I don't know. I think those might be skinny jeans actually. So they're like dark wash. I can't tell you guys how much I spent on individual items because my Goodwill does not put uh, prices on their tags. That's a whole other thing to get into. Uh, this is Cabby. Like workout leggings. I didn't even know Cabby had an active line. And then they have the little like ruched bottom. Hmm. Why do I want to try these on right now? I want to try these on. I like those. Oh, another pair of page jeans. I think these are the same. These are peg super skinny. So, yeah, those are skinny. Skinny leg jeans. Okay, next bag. This is cute. I might keep this. Oh, why do I want to keep everything? Uh, Led Zeppelin t-shirt. I don't know. I love like graphic t-shirts and oh, by the way, this is like my favorite item I've ever thrifted in my entire life. Like it's like this vintage sweatshirt and it's like huge. It just says New York City. I thrifted this when I was like 17 from the bins and we've been through it. Like we have gone through some shit together, me and this sweatshirt. I love it. 
What is this? Oh, I got this for myself too. These are my favorite tank tops. These little free people. Like, oop. It's like a thread one here. But yeah, if you guys ever see uh, this tank top with this tag, and it's like really tiny ribs. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like little ribs. You should pick this up for yourself. It's very flattering to wear. Like, it fits just right. Love it. Okay. Oh. Got me some J. Crew. Here we go. And it's uh, like a popover blouse. I like the color of it. It needs to get steamed though. It's very wrinkly. I picked this up because it's cute. <laughs> Sometimes, I think you guys probably know this by now about me, sometimes I pick things up even though I know I'm not going to turn a huge profit, but when I see it, I'm like, oh my god, somebody needs this. And this is one of those items. Like, it's an H&M t-shirt, but it has a, um, a pineapple, like, coming out of the pocket, and it says, uh, can't read that, La Pineda? La Panita, maybe? But yeah, someone needs this. Like, this is so cute. I imagine someone wearing this with uh, some mom jeans or like cut off shorts and Converse sneakers in the summertime. Like, this is just so cute. Someone needs this. Uh, the next is this Kimchi Blue. You know, I had this exact same sweatshirt, I bought it for myself. It sat in my closet, still with the tags on, I ended up putting it in one of my reselling mystery boxes. Because I was like, it's just sitting there, I'm never going to wear it. And now I feel like maybe this is a sign that I was supposed to wear it because I found it. <laughs> it's like a cold shoulder, like, it's a cold shoulder sweater. It's really, really, really pretty. Like, this lavender color is so cute. So I don't know. That might be listed on Poshmark or it might be going in my closet. I picked up this LuLaRoe. I just, I don't really like to pick up prints, but I think this print is so cute. So yeah, I don't know what it is, but I like the black and white look. I feel like this will look cute with like some black skinny jeans and like a jean jacket. That's what I envisioned when I found it. Crap. All right. We got some uh, Weston which is sometimes sold at Anthro. This is a really pretty top. It's like cute, boho printed. Uh, I got some Fabletics leggings. I love selling uh, this brand, Fabletics. And I also love keeping it, but it's an extra, extra small, so my behind is not gonna be going in there. <laughs> these are like my neck might fit. But yeah, these are really cute. I got this uh, olive and oak. This is a really cute sweater. It like wraps in the front. And I like picking up like gray sweaters. I don't know what my obsession is with gray sweaters, but I'm constantly picking up gray sweaters. I think, I think what it is is because they photograph, the color gray photographs so well and looks really cute in like flat lay photos. And I think that's why I'm constantly picking it up. This is another Anthro brand, um, it's Lily's Closet. And I picked this up too because it's a size extra large. And it's a cute like button down blouse. You guys can see that. All right. I love me some standard jeans purse. This is cute. It's just a basic t-shirt, but I know this t-shirt will sell for at least like 20, 25 bucks. I just sold um, a top on eBay for 40, so sometimes they can sell for a lot of money. Again with Sundance. This is cute. It's like super like ruched. I think that's the word, ruched. I don't know. Alright, I'm trying to take like piles. 
I got a lot of stuff like and I love I love all of it this is cute too I kind of want to keep it it's anthropology uh, Deletta and it's like a swing style I think this color is showing up red on here but it's actually pink I don't know why it's showing red it's really pink this is super cute it is uh, new with tags it's splendid and it's like this cute little crop top and it has the lace up detailing on the sides so that's like awesome and this is a cute little anthro uh, postmark like stripe top and then the back has like that little keyhole tie This is New It's Hogs Anthropology, and it's um, by the brand On The Road, which I've never, um, I never knew that was anthro, and I've seen it a couple times. I never picked it up. So this was originally $68. It's really cute. It's a uh, navy blue, and it has, like, a little tie, like, in the front, like a little knot. I don't know. I think that's, I think it's cute. I like those little basic pieces. Alright, another pile. This is cute too. Everything's cute. So cute. Uh, Vince. And it's like a V cut. Just a basic, basic top. I was excited about this. I found Acris. You know, I found this one time, and I didn't know what it was. Never heard of it. I thought the top was really cute. I didn't even bother looking it up online or anything. I put it back. Like, why did I do that? I don't know. So dumb. So I was happy that I found it again. Now that I know what it is, I picked it up. And it's a cashmere, uh, cashmere and silk blend, so it's, like, really soft. And this is a logo by Lori Goldstein. It's just plain black. And this is like their, her like signature like swing styled top and it has like the little silk detailing at the bottom. This is a sanctuary. It's a cute little boho. Alright guys, I got two pieces left to show you, so I don't know which one to do first. I'll do this one first. This is really cute. Cloth and stone. And it's the lace up. Like, it laces up in the front, and then it's like the high-low hem. Like, super flattering. So cute. And the last thing I picked up... It's brand new without tags. It's a Banana Republic Issa London collection. So it's like a collab. And this is what the tag looks like. And it's really pretty. It has, it's like zebras. It has zebras on it. It's like zebra printed. And then it has like this tie in the front. It's like a little mini dress. Oh, this is so cute. I feel like, I want to try this on. I feel like if I went on vacation, I would totally wear this like out I don't know I really like it the sleeves are like the short sleeve but they're like bell so like you know it would hang off and feel fabulous wearing this I love it <laughs> I love what I do like I love my job it's so cool <laughs> all right so that was my entire haul everything I got like I said I spent about $300 kind of a lot of money but I think I'll definitely make good money off of everything so thanks for watching guys Bye.